Norway. Namaste. My name is Tenzin Norgay and I was the first in the country to summon the mountains. I was born in Maine in 1914, but my birthday is unknown. My mother says it was made because of the cross. I was 11 of 13 children in my family, but some of my brothers and sisters died young. I grew up in the fall and I looked after my family's yaks, but didn't go to school, so I never learned how to read or write. I would stare up at the Himalayan mountains and dream of climbing them. Little did I know that I would eventually climb the tallest one. I wanted to become a high altitude porter. They helped mountaineers carry their supplies. But being young and poor, I would steal Chinese statues from Kathmandu and sell them for money. <coughs> at 19, I moved to Darjeeling, India, where I started to climb the mountains. I became a good climber and would practice by carrying heavy stones in my pack. After working as a high altitude player for many years, I attempted to climb Mount Everest with the Canadian Mountaineer in 1936. We turned back at 22,000 feet because of snowstorm. Because of a snowstorm. In the 1940s, I married Dawa Buti and had two daughters, but Dawa died of an unknown illness a few years later. In 1947, I tried to climb Mount Everest for the second time as a Sherpa guide with the Swiss expeditions and turned back at turned back because a large storm arrived while we were climbing. All through the nineteen fifties I was an expedition I was a ship of guide in expeditions with different mountaineers from England that were trying to climb Mount Everest. Three years later on May 29, 1953, at eleven thirty AM, I reached a summit Mount Everest as a mountaineer with Edmund Edmund Hillary, a member of the Hunt Expedition from Britain. I only spent 15 minutes on the summit. The trip back is long and hard, and I had to carry a 30 pound pack along the way. There is very little oxygen to breathe at 29,028 feet. There are lots of reasons why climbing Everest is so difficult. It is very remote, far away from city and supplies. You have to carry all of your supplies along the way. Base camp is only at the beginning of 17,900 feet. From there, we must climb ice holes and glaciers. There are many crevasses and cracks in the snow. We could fall on them and be left there to die. Once you are close to the summit, it is very windy and snow storms can arrive quickly. Plus, temperatures are all below zero. The hardest thing of all is that there is very little oxygen to be so high up. You need to carry a bottle of oxygen. That makes climbing to the top of the world much harder, that you are frequently scared and also very tired. I became the first director of the field training of the Millennium Mountaineering Institute when it was set up in 19, in when it was set up in 1954. I also married Daku and had three sons and another daughter. But later in 1978, I founded Tenzing Norgay Adventures, a trekking company in the fall. I died into the cerebral hemorrhage in Darjeeling, India at the age of 71 in 1986. If you ever visit the institute in Darjeeling, you will find my memorial statue and my cremate remains there. In 2003, my son Jim the 50th anniversary of our climb, my son Jan Ling and Edmund Hillary's son Peter reached a summit of Mount Everest together. Namaste.